Hello, my name is Greg Grex. I'm a PGA professional and teaching instructor here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And recently, I just got a new student, and he's 15 years old. And we really took a lot of time in this first lesson to get him to understand a couple of key things that I would like to see him do better with his golf swing to improve his ball striking. Um, when he first came to me and we first started talking, um, inconsistent tee shots and ball striking was part of the issue, which also causes not hitting enough greens and therefore not scoring. So the first thing that we did was we had him swing oh, maybe about 10 or 15 times and we gathered a bunch of video on him. Uh, as you can see at this point in time, as he takes the club away from the ball, the lower body is fairly quiet. There's, there's really not a lot of movement to it. As a matter of fact, the hips don't even turn too much. They stay pretty still. But then all of a sudden, once the arms have kind of swung the club to about the halfway back position, the hips start to kind of rise up and out of the swing. And there's a considerable amount of sway off of the golf ball. And when you see this, stop and pause them here at the top of the swing. The thing that concerns me the most is it it's going to aggravate the timing of the downswing because the, the body itself is so far out of position that the arms and the hands have to do a considerable amount of compensating to get the club back onto the golf ball relatively squarely. And it just doesn't work every time, and sometimes he hits it well, and other times it's just it, the golf ball, ball flight can be very sporadic. So what I wanted to see him do first was really just calm the lower body so that it doesn't spin or doesn't lift and rise but in other words we would like to get it to almost kind of stay steady but turn a little bit in its position or turn a little bit more in the posture now if we draw a line straight down from the hip all the way down to the to the shoe or the outside of the foot what we're going to try and do with his lower body is really just almost kind of keep that right leg in place but allow the hip to turn a little bit and again, with these specific lines, what you're going to see is not a lot of movement there. And then all of a sudden, a big movement out of place. Now, the other thing that you'll see with a lot of instructors is they will talk about a reverse pivot. And, and you get that with the upper body when the, you know, when the lower body really goes up and out. And the upper body has to kind of pivot back and across. And, and many instructors will call that a reverse pivot. So we're going to try to avoid that as much as we possibly can. Let's move a little bit forward here and see if we can't find one of the swings where we got the body in better position and load one of those swings up for you so that you can see the big difference of what it takes with a little bit of time and a little bit of practice. Now again, the good thing is is you know we have a 15 year old young male who is very athletic to begin with, plays lots of different sports and you know it can do a good job of solidifying his lower body and get the feel of keeping himself more still and then turning into a better position. Now you see that move initially was a little bit exaggerated and I actually worked that move with him but when it's all said and done and you look at the two positions the one on the right is a much better position to start with. Now even though I have him exaggerate that position it's the feeling that I want him to have because I'm really trying to avoid that right hip bumping up and out and losing his posture and losing the stability with his body. In the right video, you're going to see that the body now stays much more stable. He's going to have a little bit of hip turn. And he's going to have a significant amount of shoulder turn, and the shoulders are going to be in a much more loaded position, and the body itself is much more stable. I'm going to try and see if I can look just a little bit further here, and let's find a video where he's actually making a swing onto the golf ball. We'll draw a line from that leg down to and we'll go back to the beginning with the other one here. So again this is the first swing. Now this is an after swing. Really, really good job. Okay, he's just taking it to the top actually in that right video. That's fine. But again, you can see you know, the action of the swing as he moves it to the top. And that's really what I want to show people in this specific video is, again, how you can do a better job staying in position with your body so that the rest of the body doesn't move out of position and you don't have to make so many compensations with your hands. 
if you're unsure what your lower body's doing, uh, the best thing I would suggest is find a PGA teaching professional that has video. Uh, he takes a lot of pride in his instruction, and you know he can show you these things with your body, so you can kind of see where you stand. If you have any questions or you're here in the Raleigh, North Carolina area, please don't hesitate to visit my website at grexagolf.com. Uh, schedule a lesson with me, and I'd be glad to videotape your swing for you and show you kind of what's going on. Thank you very much for watching.